Yo, what is up? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this rotating component, infinite rotating component with your logo and basically as a badge. So let's get right into it. I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to link the remix link in the description. So just get it and follow along or just do what I'm doing. So this is Benjamin. Yo, my name is Benjamin. <laughs> this guy, okay. Uh, I love him. And this is why I'm doing the tutorial. And so let's get it. Uh, I passed the uh, component that I copied from his project. And then I'm going to delete this one here. And then I'm going to add my logo. So to add my logo, I just go to the folder and I drag and drop the logo directly into Framer. And then what I'm going to do is make it smaller. So 85 for this one. And then I'm just going to center it here in the middle. Maybe 80 would be better here. Okay. Then for the badge around it, that, that will be with frame. So type F in your keyboard and then draw a shape. And I'm just going to put it here 100 by 100. Lock in the ratio. That is a little bit small, so I'm going to do 150. And then I'm going to remove the fill, add a border to white. Don't worry about about it much. And then we, we add a, a radius, 800. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And then... Does it look good? All right, yeah, mm, not really. I'm going to try 160. Okay. Let's try that. Yeah, that's other oh, leather looks better. Let me see. Yep, and then we can change the speed by going here, clicking on arc. And then let's put 10. Then let's change the text to Framer with me. I'm just going to add again Framer with me here. And then you can either, you know, use this font or, you know, I, I guess you're better using your own font uh, for your branding. Use Montserrat. And then I'm going to use bold. I'm going to give it 12.2 so that it locks in perfectly. And yeah, here you have it. And then you can play around like I can, let's say. It's not what I want to do. Okay, let's say I want to make it a little bit bigger. And it will still look good. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. Yeah, don't forget. Just click on the Remix link in the description to get started right away. And you can just click, for example, on the logo here. Click on image. Change it with your image. And then you're good to go. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. See you on the next one.